Imagine a world cloaked in darkness where the cries of anguish pierce the stillness of the night. In the heart of Egypt, a land enslaved by tyranny, a tale of defiance and divine intervention unfolds a story of a people yearning for freedom and a God who unleashes his mighty power to deliver them. Welcome to the epic saga of the Passover, where the fate of nations hangs in the balance and the courage of a few sparks a revolution that will echo through the annals of history. As a result of Pharaoh's stubbornness, God sent a series of plagues upon Egypt to demonstrate his power and to persuade Pharaoh to let the Israelites go. Despite these plagues, Pharaoh still refused to let the Israelites go. So God told Moses about the tenth and most devastating plague, the death of the firstborn throughout Egypt, according to the book of Exodus chapter 11, verses 4 to 6. Instructions for the Passover. Before the final plague, God gave Moses and Aaron specific instructions for the Israelites to follow. They were to select a lamb without blemish on the 10th day of the month, keep it until the 14th day, and then slaughter it at twilight. They were to take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of their houses. They were also instructed to roast the lamb and eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs according to the book of Exodus chapter 12, verses 1 to 11, the Passover night. That night, the Israelites did as God commanded. They sacrificed the Passover lamb, marked their doorposts with its blood, and ate the meal in haste with their loins girded, sandals on their feet, and staff in hand, ready to leave Egypt according to the book of Exodus chapter 12, verses 21 to 28. The angel of death passes over. At midnight, the angel of death passed through Egypt, striking down the firstborn of every household, from the firstborn of Pharaoh to the firstborn of the prisoners in the dungeon. However, when the angel saw the blood on the doorposts of the Israelites' houses, it passed over them, sparing their firstborn according to the book of Exodus chapter 12, verses 29 to 30. Pharaoh's response. The death of his own firstborn finally moved Pharaoh to release the Israelites. He summoned Moses and Aaron and urged them to leave Egypt immediately according to the book of Exodus chapter 12, verses 31 and 32. The Exodus. The Israelites, along with a mixed multitude, left Egypt in haste, carrying their unleavened dough before it had time to rise. They journeyed through the wilderness towards the Promised Land, marking the beginning of their liberation from slavery according to the books of Exodus chapter 12, verses 33 to 42. The Passover event became a central aspect of Israelite identity and is commemorated annually by the Jewish people through the celebration of the Passover feast. From this story, we learn that God keeps and kept the promise he gave to Abraham by the angel passing over and sparing the hallhold of Israel. Note here they were instructed to be inside the house with a blood marking on the doorpost, which was assigned to the angel of death to pass over that household. Indeed, God keeps his promises. Keep your trust in him. These stories are to equip us in our journey of faith. According to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, the Bible says, Study to show yourself approved unto God a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2, 15. Approved workmen are not ashamed. This is for us to know, to love, and to serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome and please subscribe to our channel, like, share, and comment.